Hey, Strike Eagle fans, Nasso's here. I just want to do a very quick little demo of the asthma steering line fix that we did after my HRM video a couple weeks ago. Uh, for those of you that watched it, uh, if you remember right at the very end, uh, several people in the Discord pointed out that there was an issue with the asthma steering line was kind of wobbly as I tried to line up on it, and it's absolutely true. Uh, that was a known issue. We've known about it for a while, and we've been working on fixing it. Uh, the beauty is that the radar chicken got it actually uh, figured out a fix to, uh, to get it to be nice and stable. So what I wanted to do was do a quick video to uh, show you that progress, to show you that that's been fixed. Uh, and the feedback was uh, definitely much appreciated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very quick little uh, demo with um, uh, a patch map and then a, uh, a GBU-10 uh, laser-guided bomb attack on a BTR-80 that's sitting on the runway here at Creech Air Force Base. So what I've got queued up right now is uh, target or two point is, uh, is set up uh, for the map. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, as soon as I take it off pause, I'll, I'll check away, take a map of it, we'll designate it, and then we'll run in to do the GBU-10 attack. So again, this is not really meant to be a tutorial. This is just kind of a G whiz. Hey, uh, just showing you guys that this stuff is fixed and it's looking really good. So checking away right now, Again, remember, you've got to be outside of the blind zone of the nose, uh, that plus or minus 8 degrees, ideally somewhere in the 30 to 45 degree range. So we'll go ahead and take the map here once we're out uh, in that 30 degree range. So I'll go ahead and freeze the map. I'll switch over to Multi-Look 2 to get a little bit better view. I'm in uh, EGI, present position, keeping source, so you're not going to see any drift. And I'll go ahead and uh, take a map of the... Um, target in a 6-7 map for my final uh, picture. So you can see right now, uh, the BTR-80 is sitting right underneath the little crosshair. You can see a little dot there at the taxiway uh, intersection. So I'll go ahead and switch over. You can see right here, PB-7, I'll switch over to target cursor function. I'll go ahead and take a map. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll take a final designation. And then you can see over on the, sorry, on the uh, target pod, I'll go ahead and hit expand, I'll zoom in. And you can see now that that is uh, lined up on that target. So we'll go ahead and get the laser on. And I'll turn inbound. We're still 13 miles out. And once we're uh, rolled out, I'll take my final designation on that spot. So let's go to air to ground master mode. So now you can see that ASL line is nice and stable, and it's, it's tied to the target diamond as it should. So that's exactly what it should be. So I'm in target cursor function on the target pod. Let's go ahead and take our... Final designation here. That's looking really good. We're six miles out, and the TD diamond is over the spot. So what I'll do is at about 10 seconds, I'll go and uh, hammer down on the pickle button, hold that through release, and then we'll do a check away. So laser's off. I'll do a 10-second delay lays uh, for the GBU-10, which is always good practice for the uh, Paveway 2 type of weapons. So there's coming through 15 seconds T-rail. Again, the key here is you want to get as lined up on the ASL as you can. Not as big a deal for a laser-guided bomb on the pickle button. Master arm's hot. Here's my bomb fall line is coming down, doing my best to get as stable on that line as possible. Weapons away. Let's go ahead and get my cursor on the spot. And we'll do a check away here. And again, we're looking for that 10 seconds T-rail to, uh, to go ahead and get the laser on. Let's refine that spot here. I've got a point track now laid down. 13 seconds T-rail. 10 seconds lasers on. It's point track in the spot. That should do pretty nicely. Three. Splash. And that's well within the, uh, the, the uh, margin of error for the time of fall. It's actually not unusual for it to hit uh, plus or minus about two, two to three seconds at a time. So you can see that's all working really nicely. That's a, that's a huge improvement over what we had on the um, previous video. Just realize that all this stuff is work in progress, uh, but I just wanted to show you that all that stuff is uh, continuously being updated and everything is looking really good. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. I'll talk to you, talk to you later on the, uh, the next video. See ya.